Legends, just reminding you, we're sponsored kind of by Advanced GG. We're there. And if you use code Beaver30, you can get 30% off your order. And if you're in the US, you can use code Game of Beaver Free Samples or something. It's also there to get actual free samples, which is like really good. And if enough people use those codes, we can actually get our own flavor, which Toast is really excited about. On your Toast. <laughs> Back to the video. You got any of them Jurassic World Dominion toys? <laughs> no? Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to the first Jurassic World Dominion toy unboxing video. <gasps> They have actually not been released in the UK at the moment and when I'm recording this video, but I do happen to have my connections. Albeit questionable. <laughs> Presenting my connections! Ah! So I'll do a little, like once I get it, I'll do a little- Give it! Whoa, God! <laughs> Made it all the way over here and then almost broken. The massive! What is it? Trash and devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. You wakeys. Just what? I need to move the sofa closer. We got to do unboxings. Did you sleep? Get a close up look at it, Whitney. Isn't it gorgeous? It looked really cool when it was this angle. Oh. And it was like, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, this gives me vibes of um, river monsters. Remember the Mosasaur? Jesus. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> We have it! The Trash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex from the new, oh well, not released yet, upcoming movie, the final Jurassic World movie, Dominion. I mean, the first toy that we're gonna sort of unbox? Yeah, makes sense that it's, you know, the T-Rex. I think the first one we did last time was probably the T-Rex as well, except that this time, it looks a bit different, not only in color, but also in sculpt. So before we take it out of the box, let's have a look at the box art itself. What do we rate it, Whitney? What do we give it? Nine out of ten Kugmos. <laughs> I think this is German. It's got German before the English. Schlorder and Zuschnappen and Verschlacht. So you've got like the forest. So this is the Biosyn facility. It's at night. There's fire. It's like that final battle thing where Ian Malcolm's like, Tara! It looks really cool. And for the first time, it's not like another beigey like T-Rex that we normally get. And we have a T-Rex that does all these exact same things. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the back of the box. You got some schlacken, schlacken nappen, uh, and, and all the other sorts of lovely things on the back there. You've got this new dinosaur. I don't know what that one is. It sort of does exactly what I think like a previous version of the T-Rex does. But hey <laughs> <laughs> oh look! No, they've actually made it easier for you to take it off because it's it's locked in by the feet, if I remember right. Zoom in on Poo Poo! Oh, yep, there it goes. What do you like about the packaging? Win? Tell me, tell the audience what you like. I like the fact that it looks like a scene. You see that glow really works well with from the headlights. Yeah, you see that. You see the head, the car there. Yeah. Like I didn't even notice that before. Police car. I think I think they're chasing down the T-Rex. It's run away in the night. And look, it comes with extra piece. A long winky. Rex. Oh, does it have the stomping feet? No, it doesn't. We can have a look at its toesies. There's no code or anything. That's because with these new dinosaurs. If we look here, you lift it out. <gasps> there it is. Now you can scan it. That's cool, actually. I like that. I thought it was just going to pop out, like actually come all the way out, but <laughs> satisfying. And they put a little bit of effort into it. They put the uh, the Jurassic World logo on the back of it. Though. That's quite nice. Apparently. Well, I mean, we can do that. But does its tail? If we take a look at it head on. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh my god, it looks so dopey. I am an idiot! <laughs> Rex, you've seen better days, haven't you? Yes! <laughs> I love that. Okay, so you've got like the tail action, which has a sound effect on its own. Is that supposed to be a ripping through like fence or something? That's quite nice. And then you've got, of course, you click the tail down. They've actually made like, yeah, I don't know how well you can actually see in there. Camera, look, see, there you go. I think these are different sound effects than what I'm used to. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I could be wrong. I'm sure there's gonna be collectors out there that are like, no, that was used in Thrasher 3012. It will sound really cool because they are the T-Rex sound effects. Uh, we've came a long way since 2015, or even, you know, when, what was it? Was it Hasbro? <laughs> Where the T-Rex sound effect was used in everything. And I think even Mattel used the T-Rex sound effects in like Metrocanthosaurus and dinosaurs like that. But the sculpt, it looks great, it, as these things always do. I mean, there's one thing they get right, it's usually the sculpt. But actually the head is, that's why we focused on the head before I was sidetracked by the way it actually looks. Uh, because the head itself, I think a complete re-sculpt. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get the one that I thought this was. And, okay, you're the one with the stomping feet. Yes. So, Jesus, you... Stop stopping! We can take it down a city. Right, so I mean, if you get a side-by-side -side comparison of the heads, um, I think this new Dominion has like a, a, a shorter, stumpier head, it, it appears. And then if you look at them head on, they've definitely amplified the... Chunky. Which I'm all about. If you're gonna give us like 5 million T-Rexes, give us a different sculpt or a different color. Like, I'm, I'll be happy with that. That's what I wanted to say, is that finally, it is a different color. And they even released a T-Rex with the Jurassic Park uh, Explorer, which was at night from the first movie, but it was still like this color. Why are we still here? Here it is. This is the one that came with it. So it was like a, a lightish brown and it was like, uh, I guess it's kind of okay. It's at night and the T-Rex basically looked black in that whole scene or really, really dark brown. Um, and it would have been so, so much cooler to have had like a black T-Rex. Accurate, like screen accurate, especially when you've got 50 freaking T-Rexes. Do something different, please. That alone is worth price of admission, I think. <laughs> Can you imagine if Rexy appears on screen? <laughs> it just looks like that. I think you kind of have to have it. Or an English bulldog kind of cuteness to it. So we can eat your toys and it sort of shoves it back into its throat so far. There's scars on the left side, the scars on the right side. Because I think at this point, Rexy has, uh, has been been through so many, so many battles that with is that, is that the one from Jurassic Park? I don't know. Is, is this the one from Jurassic World? Is that, I, don't know. I like it a lot. And finally, for the first time, for the first time, zoom in with for the first, we can line up every T Rex that's ever been released with every Jurassic World film, or Jurassic film, I should say, because Jurassic World Dominion is supposed to be the last one. Of course it won't be, because it makes lots of money, but now we can line them up. So let's have a roll call. So, starting the Red Wreck, the, the classic rubber. And from a design perspective, this was modeled on the Stan Winston maquette. I can't sing its praises enough, it's beautiful. Then we had, thought you couldn't improve on perfection, but you can, hold its legs, Swing it about, it had like a mechanism in its mouth where you'd push down, it would actually bite. The Ball T-Rex! This thing that could eat a manhole and inspired Mattel to make dinosaurs that would eat everything whole. It'd shove it in there and then you'd do a, some sort of weird operation and take it out there. Beautiful! Then we had kind of a massive drop off. The Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex. This is when Hasbro took over and it was not a pretty sight unfortunately. Then, oh, God, look at you. Yeah, look at it. You remember this guy? You thought five teeth was worse. Well, how about like three teeth? Get a front shot of that. Like you thought the other one was bad. Look at that one. Jesus. <laughs> it looks like it's wearing makeup or something. But yeah, look at the bullet holes. <laughs> Fortunately, Hasbro lost the license at that point. And then this one. Yes. A kind of return to form, if you may. For a, for a modern, that one. And then you had the, the brown one. And then you had the one that you could pull apart and make operations on. And then you had the super colossal one, which you could, he's supposed to break, don't worry. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? He's more unique that way. There he is, what's left of the Rex that was surgically operated on. And that's not even half of the total T-Rexes that have been released over the whole Jurassic franchise. So what does it tell us about Jurassic and T-Rexes as a whole? Well, we can probably afford to see twice as many in the future with varying degrees of quality. We've got a really good 
you know, mechanism back from the Kenner days that kind of works. As well as like roars and stuff, which was kind of like the react attack of the Jurassic Park 3s, which is really cool, this sort of thing. What else can I say? For a start of a Dominion, you know, the, the releases of Dominion, I think it's a pretty solid start, don't you? And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, send help to sell all these T-Rexes, please. Thank you, bye!